Alright, well g'day and welcome back. So for those who have been following thus far, today we are taking a look at the Alchemist and this is in the middle of our town centre here, right next to the farmer. By the way, if you haven't checked out any of the other videos in this series, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. We're going over today all of the final things that have been done in the alchemist residence and shop here so if you haven't been following the series what i have set up the entire town center here is a stall for each of the survivors and then they also have then a workspace within that and a link up to their residence from there as well so what we've now done throughout here has filled everything up with the Athenors and whatnot and we filled the space up here with things that the Alchemist makes like books and as you can see there the laboratory that sort of thing now just to focus on this immediate space in here first I moved a couple of little things around here because they were in the road of the doors opening and it was just for uh, you know aesthetic purposes but I changed a few things around so they're not in the road of the doors opening but they're, other than that I mean there hasn't been a heck of a lot has changed in the immediate space in here however what has changed underneath you'll notice now that we have the blue coming through I'm still undecided on whether I'm actually keeping the green floor. I think I might keep the ectoplasm block floor. I haven't sort of used anything that's, uh, you know, ectoplasm block or blue luminescent or anything as a floor block or a feature block anywhere within any of the shops. So I think I don't mind it here. Now the reason that we've changed to that blue luminescent block if you haven't been following the other uh, build videos is that I now have a waterfall that's coming from the top and I was going to have the waterfall be uh, ectoplasm block but it just it didn't look any good in the waterfall so what I've done now is I've changed it all to uh, the blue luminescent and we'll catch up with regards to the, I don't know what that was doing there, with regards to the, um, you know, all of the other changes on the outside and how that affects on the inside here, because there's a lot of things in this build that affect other things and it's all very complicated. So, uh, yeah, in terms of other things that we've done in here, I've put a couple of, I've put a chest in here now and we've thrown a few sort of plants and whatnot around just to kind of, uh, you know, make things look a little bit nicer. Also threw some um, iron uh, blocks on the ground there, which is one of the other feature blocks at the front window there, just to kind of be a bit of a delineator and sort of... Um, I might even sort of throw them, you know, three metres or two blocks high or something there, just in front of me that's kind of a, you know, an imagined chain across because that's into the residence there. What I've done as well here is I've put one of these doors in. Now I do have tons of building space behind uh, here, which yeah, there's probably about another, oh geez, I don't know, 10 building blocks worth of eight that I can go back into the wall. So I mean, there's plenty of scope to build further out into the future. So if I do end up making, you know, all the other grand things I want to make like little kind of, um, dwarven caves and whatnot we can have them join up here and do all kinds of crazy stuff but i'm you know i'm trying to think on multiple levels with this build the, the entire time so now in this link that goes now into the residence i've now put a few sort of trophies and whatnot in here and i've now put a lot of these new uh vuka statues in here as well so i put one of each of the uh old statues in just the you know the single level ones not the bronze ones or anything and i've also put a couple of clay pots around the place here as well and i've 
haven't used as the VUCA statues are only new, I haven't used them anywhere else. So I wanted to kind of create a little bit of a thing that the alchemist um, likes creating VUCA stuff. So and clay stuff so sort of general stone and clay and that sort of already worked in with the uh, stone blocks that i was using for the flooring here so that's pretty cool uh we've thrown a couple of little plants and whatnot around the place in here as well and you'll see there's just a couple of little extra clay pots and whatnot i've thrown around the place in different areas here and this is the private entry if you haven't seen before now what has happened here, and if you caught up with us last time, I did have the roots of those giant trees, these ones here, growing through into the residence. And I wasn't sure if I kind of liked it as something that was a little bit different. I decided that I didn't. <laughs> so we ended up uh, just sort of putting two blocks high, which is all I needed because I counted it out. Uh, and just sort of put those trees on those two blocks high and they sort of grew around them so they don't look uh, ridiculously out of place and I just planted um, flower soil in the gaps. Now what else has changed in here is we've now got some railings here which we didn't have before and those are the iron ones and we've now populated uh, with rugs and you know a few different bits of uh, clutter on the tables and whatnot, books etc. I've thrown a little fireplace out here as well just something different and another little vase there now because we're going with the sort of uh you know vuca theme here i've put one of those vuca blessing statues in there and in terms of the kitchen nothing else has really changed i was pretty happy with the way it was uh, i think at the moment it's it's just fine we didn't have any of this here populated, but uh, we've now thrown some books and a bit of clutter in there, and I threw one of those uh, barrels in there as well. So, not a lot, but I mean, it's just a lot of sort of filling in stuff that's been done. Now, downstairs there, I, I'm still thinking about whether I want to put a railing across there of that particular block going across, not sure. Uh, what has changed down here, I initially had this a uh, little space here earmarked for a garden but I ended up putting a couple of pot plants there and one of those VUCA statues and I think I kind of like it the way it is and the reason I did that is because I ended up throwing this fire down here because I wanted to have a little sort of fireplace for my sort of personal downstairs lounge area which is just in front of the bathroom <laughs> um, so yeah we got we kind of mixed it up a little you know, it's not all completely realistic, but, you know, I don't mind. So we've got our sort of outdoor bathroom, so I can, uh, you know, sit in there and have a shower and a bath and whatnot and check out the views. And we've now populated a little bit more in here with books and whatnot as well, and thrown some floor mats and whatnot down. And this is, again, this is the new timber furniture the outdoor furniture and also these windows here now I had nothing here and I was contemplating putting these iron railings there but because we ended up deciding on a bed that was this VUCA bed the pine bed or not the pine bed the stick bed it ends up being sort of the same color as those railings and I thought it might be nice just to kind of have you know that all set up like that so We've done that. Now I've put a little mat up here and a little personal kind of space here as well for me to sit and have a read in the morning when I wake up if I feel like it. And I've got my own personal little fire as there as well there. But yeah, it's it's kind of I think it's platted. I think it's called platted block actually, and that kind of matches the platting of the um, rugs here, which I kind of I kind of dig, and it kind of you know sort of fits in well with those windows the wood windows as well so I decided to throw some of them in now I made some of those some uh, little sort of adjoining blocks here and put pot plants on them so I've got some plants I've got plants everywhere downstairs here just sort of filled out the area a bit a bit more made it look a little bit nicer so that's what we've done with that 
area down here. Now, what's happened here as well, and this is just perfect now, and this is again just through me being such a control freak and faffing a lot, I ended up finding a place where I could... You know, I find up finding the exact level where I could plant trees down here, just in front of the farmer's residence and where they only grew to a certain height. And I've used the trees that sort of don't grow out much. And so what that has done is now um, it's protected where my views are and it sort of allows that the alchemist house here doesn't sort of have views into the farmer residence down there and conversely the farmer can't see up into the alchemist house as well all right well that's going to do us for all of that section over there there's a ton of other sort of little things that i've been messing with in the build in general but we've got some just build updates uh, general build updates coming next week so what we'll do is we'll catch up on all of those then there's a couple of little sort of tweaks i've made to the farmer and there's a few massive tweaks and a massive uh, project that i've done upstairs from here as well and we'll catch up with that then but at this stage this residence for me is finalized for the alchemist here i don't believe I want to do any more work on it but as with all the other residences I'll probably tweak it and just buggerize around and make a few little changes here and there into the future and what we'll do is we'll just put those into little update videos for you when they happen all right well that'll be it for us for this one once again thanks very much for watching I really do appreciate it and we'll see you next time